attitude that Lawrence was able and had the privilege know, to know and do what he did. So we cherish his memory and we tr entrust him today in God's hand. So sleep on, my brother, and take your rest. Good night. Good night. We love you, but Jesus loves you best. Safe journey till we meet again. May your perfect and gentle soul rest in perfect peace. And may all your investment in heaven be returned to you when you get on the other side. May it be so forever. Thanks be to God. Can I ask you to please stand as we observe a moment of silence in honor of our brother. taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May the soul of our brother Lawrence Lord Owusu rest in perfect peace and may God's perpetual light continually shine on him, even now and always. Let the people of God say Amen. Amen. Please say it. The family will continue to stand and we have a word of prayer. Let us pray. God of all grace, we thank you that you sent your son Jesus to break the power of death and bring life and immortality to light through the gospel. He shared our life, took upon himself our death, and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Look not on us, but look on us as found in Jesus Christ and bring us safely through to the judgment, to the joy and peace of your presence. And now we thank you for the life of Mr. Lawrence, Lord Ousu. All pain and suffering are ended and that death, death itself is conquered. We commend to you those who will greatly meet mates most in the days to come. Ground that casting every care on you, they may know the consolation of your love. God of comfort, in the midst of pain, heal the family with your love. In the darkness of sorrow, shine upon them as the morning star awakening us the spirit of mercy, that as we feel the pain of others, we may share with them the comfort we receive from you. Bring us at the last, with all the people into the kingdom of your glory, where that itself is ended, and every tear is wiped from every eye. To you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be glory, both now and for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy name is Father, forever, forever. Amen. I'll ask the entire congregation to please stand and in the immediate family to go forward with the ministers. And let us commend our brother's body to God's loving and faithful care. When we get to the cemetery, we will commit his body to God's care. God, we praise you for 
the fact that you have made us in your image and likeness. We thank you for the life of your son, Lawrence Lord Owusu, and for the love and mercy he received from you and showed amongst us. We rejoice in your gracious promise that all your servants living and departed, that we shall rise again with Christ. We ask that at last we may come with him to share in your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters in Christ, now that our brother exit this earthly life to an heavenly one, we commend his body to the faithful God. Into your keeping, O merciful God, we commend your servant Lawrence. Receive him into the arms of your mercy and into the joy of your everlasting feast. Into the glorious company of the saints in light through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to we're going to invite you now to to bring your offer tree forward. In observance of social distance, I invite you to wherever you are seated, come through the middle eye and go back to your seat through the exit on both sides. You can see it says exit. Wherever you are seated, except if you are seated in the front row, where you just get up and come to the tray or the, the, the offering bowl. But come through the aisle and then go back that way. Is that okay? The organist will play us.
of every good gift. We give you thanks for the gift of money and of people. And on this day, we bless these offerings. May they, O oh Lord, be used in your wise counsel for the purpose desired. We ask this in and through the name of Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Amen. We come now to announcements and um, vote of thanks by a member of the family. received a WhatsApp message some time ago and someone said that uh, 2020 for her did not exist. <laughs> but for us, because he lives, indeed 2020 exists. Because he also said that where two or three are guarded, he is in our midst. So we know the good Lord is in our midst today, and we give him thanks. We also give thanks to Reverend Patrick Kande Osofu Miriku. I call Reverend Kande Osofu Patrick. And uh, Osofu Miriku, we give you thanks for being here. Then my own Osofu from Trinity Prairie Church, um, thank you very much for your presence here. I give thanks to all of you who are here, and a special thanks goes to um, a lady who has been helping us a lot, sorting out the IT and everything. She's called Minnie. Minnie, if you're around. Minnie. That's the lady there. She's done everything to make this occasion here, the funeral here, a success. Also, Bo Patrick, your words of comfort is an inspiration to all of us. Thank you very much. We also thank everyone, friends, family, and those who have not managed to make it here. We believe that in their hearts, they wanted to be here. But because of the COVID pro pro protocols, they couldn't make it. Finally, we wish to acknowledge with deep appreciation the many expressions of love kindness, and support from everyone that you've shown to the family, to Doris, to Fifi, to Lloyd, and everyone. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. If I've not mentioned your name, remember that everything is in the heart and you are remembered. So, thank you very much. On Sunday, there will be Thanksgiving at uh, Upper Tutin Methodist Church. Upper Tutin Methodist Church. So, 290 Balam High Road, SW 17, 7AL. It's literally 10 minutes drive from here, if that. And you can walk it if you live around here. But that's the postcode. I'm sure it will go around the post um, WhatsApp group. Thank you. The event today, the burial today, is also being streamed, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you have time to later on view it. That's where I can't read this. Sorry? That's where I can't read this. That's yes, where, yes, that's where yes, Calvary yes, used to be. Yes. 
Yes, that's where Calvary Church used British, to meet. Yeah, used to meet. <laughs> right. After the service here, following the COVID protocols, we have a limited number of people who have been invited to attend. And therefore, I would like you to check the list with Sharon. Sharon, please. Yes. So, if you want to find out whether you're on the list, please speak to Sharon. And I, I have to also mention the fact that Sharon has done a lot to make this possible. So, so thank you, Sharon. Um, if you have anything to give to um, Doris and the family, you are free to do so. Have, an, have it ready in an envelope and you could give it to Sharon as well. So on that note, all that I can say again is thank you very much and go. Um, friends, just before um, Reverend John Miracle announced the closing him. I, I wish to apologize on behalf of the family so that you know that you are all being thanked and they are pleased you are here. But in terms of the notice to do it, you have to check a list for a place to meet after the burial. Uh, please show understanding. It's only in the light of what we are going through now. But I am told reliably by the wife that at some point in the new year when COVID would have left the world, there will be a proper celebration of Lawrence's life. I don't know whether I was supposed to let the, the, the cat out of the bag, but I know we are Africans and we can misunderstand things. It's nothing to do with choosing few. Amen? Amen? On that note, I want to thank David for thanking me and all of us. When people thank people, they don't thank themselves. But I want to thank him because he was um, so magnificent in his, with his time, his um, greatness, his experience in our meetings in planning this funeral. I want to also thank the family for opening their doors to me. Um, on one occasion, on one at nine o'clock was one of those times. But they did not throw me out, they did welcome me in the usual way. So, so I thank you very much for that. Yes, two things to say. We need to be in the cemetery by two o'clock. We're doing very well with timing because my man, Martin, told me we only needed 10 minutes. But when it comes to cemetery, don't be scared. I am known in this area. I'll get there before you. So as long as we are there, we are in. I get there before you. But if you've come here with a car, please, please give lift to those who have not driven. So we won't wait too long to do our business. I am hoping and praying that Mark, the manager in the cemetery, will let us all in. If he insists that 30 is the case, please feel free to wait in the car. The moment we've done the internment, the rule is they will let you to come. Because what happens after 3 o'clock, the cemetery is free to all. But if they ask us to stay, give them the 30, we'll count how many the 30 will be. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Brethren in Christ Jesus, we are coming to the end of this validatory service in honor of our beloved brother in Christ, Larry's Lord Ousu. Our closing hymn before benediction is Guide me, O thou great Jehovah.
announce that we, we don't know who is who. Maybe you know everybody, but let's do things safely and no complaint goes on behalf of what has happened here today. Apart from the family and the undertakers, the ministers and Lawrence, nobody is allowed to go through this aisle. Please, when you are retiring, go through the two aisles on my right and on my left. Please, we don't know who is among us here that is watching. So this is an entrance, but it's open for the family, for Lawrence and for the ministers. Is that okay? Please. Thank you very much. And let's don't stay and chat. There is time to do that in the cemetery. Let's get into our cars and go. Let's receive God's blessing. May God in his infinite love and mercy bring the whole church living and departed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to a joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his internal kingdom. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with our brother, with all of us, with all our loved ones, even those who are far away, now and always. Amen. Amen. So we recess to the hymn, The day thou gavest, Lord, has ended.